What's up guys, welcome back. We are here in Inner Londo, ready to kick some more ass in this ancient city of fallen gods. So we lowered this bridge contraption down to a pretty low level. The lowest it can possibly go. And now the only place to go is back up. The, uh, the only purpose of me going down there lighting that bonfire is just to let you guys know that it's there. You don't have to go all the way back to where the firekeeper is in case you die. You can start off a little bit below down there, but that's still closer. Okay, yeah, originally you would have to go down the elevator that goes up there, and you'd have to start way back up there where the firekeeper is. We don't want to do that, though. So now it's time to proceed. Let's break out our binoculars. You know what? I'm just going to equip those because I hate having to go find them in the menu every time. Now check this out. We got the, uh, the framework is kind of messy around right here. I don't know why. We've got some real stuff ahead of us. If you look right here, We've got some of those nasty gargoyles. Now, the ones before simply grabbed us and carried us up here to this city, but every other one that you encounter henceforth will attack you. And those things can be quite annoying. So, yeah, we've got some gargoyles ahead. We've got some climbing to do. We've got to run down some pretty nasty bridges that you can fall off of very easily. And up there... We've got two sentinels waiting for us, even though you can only see the halberd of that one poking out where the stairs are. You can see it moving slightly. We've got some items. More gargoyles. Well, I prefer to call these demons, because the weapon they use is called the demon spear. But they look like gargoyles to me. So, yeah. Items, items. Sentinels. Demons. Batwing demons is their technical name, I guess. What I like to do right here is, since I've already got my longbow equipped, I like to pull these guys. Let me see if I can. There's one. Let me get this one in the face. Yeah. Now, they don't always go all the way. Sometimes they turn around, and you have to watch out for that. Looks to me like they're going all the way. Well, that one came back around. Yep, they both turned around. I was hoping I would be able to get them with just one fell sweep. Come on. Good thing I bought a ton of arrows. Otherwise, this would be somewhat difficult. That's it. Come on. All the way. Come on. Are they coming? Of course not. Yeah, this part's a tad bit tricky. You can you can just hit them. And see that one's blocking the way now, that's a problem. Oh, there's no way I just got him. That's ridiculous. That's it. Go all the way. Don't stop. Shoot you in the ass. Come on. All the way. Atta boy. Yes, he's coming. Finally. Alright. I wanted to pull this just one of them. To go through their attacks, they have that nasty projectile attack, which can be kind of annoying, depending on how much they use it. They get a nasty jump attack that they do. That's the swing. They have they have like a double jab attack that goes into a triple. They have mostly stab attacks like that. But as you can see, let me show you what happens. That's the nasty jump attack. 
Let me show you what happens when you block. See? You can't block all of it. They do some nasty lightning damage. That is the attack that will get you killed. However, they don't have a whole lot of health. They're just really fast. See? It's not going to take us very many hits to kill these guys. And they give you 500 souls, and they drop the Demon Spear. You need Demon Titanite to upgrade this thing, and it's a pretty good weapon. It has 100 attack, which is more than our Lightning Spear. Nope, our Lightning Spear. Well, our Lightning Spear is... Uh, a, a spear that just has lightning element added to it, but the demon spear has natural lightning element, scales with a C in strength and dexterity. This thing is cool. You can turtle stab with it. It just has normal spear attacks if it's, you know, light attacks. Strong attacks is where it shines. Check this out. If you can hit an enemy with that, it sends them flying. And this does even worse. And I'm getting invaded, so... We might as well prepare. Put on our Elite Knight armor so we can have some boys, I guess. Alright. Come at me, invader. Notice my white sign soapstone is blacked out and we've got a fog gate out there. We are getting invaded. Let's see, maybe I should... Maybe I should use the catch bowl. Do some nasty damage, or maybe the great scythe. What's my damage? 445. Okay. And 340. Uh oh. I want to put on my Cloranthi ring for this. Where's the invader? No, oh, okay. It failed. Alright, fine. Time to go back to whatever we were doing before. Alright. Um, here we go. Okay, there are two sentinels up here. Don't walk out the center where that orange sign is because they will both come at you and fighting both of them at the same time on the steps is a bit of a hassle. So just walk right here, get that one's attention, and I'm getting invaded again. Okay. Ah. Uh, figured he wouldn't get me if I was on the steps. Come on. Stop blocking my attacks. <sighs> I don't want to fight them both at the same time. Because there's a potential invasion happening right now. And just because I'm fighting these things, I'm sure this invasion will be successful. That's what gets on my nerves. Oh, okay, never mind. Cancelled. Take that. Ah, you did not. Man, I can't hit these guys for squat. That's right, you cowards. Back up. If you just can't handle it. Yeah. Alright, there's one. It's just you and me now, bud. It's just you and me now. What are you gonna do? Nope, it's not gonna cut it. Dang it. No, that was supposed to be a jump attack. And you're down. Alright. 
Eat shit, Sentinels. I never liked you. Alright, we have one more gargoyle over here, the one that I pulled originally. And here's a nasty trick with this guy. If you hit him in the head with an arrow, it knocks him back and causes him to go off the edge. Okay, never mind. Oops. There, regular arrows cause him to go off. Yeah. And then there's one waiting right here on the corner. Yeah. Right. We are gold. And I'm pretty sure that's it for them. I'm getting invaded again? Maybe. Okay. Now right here, this part is nasty. Best way to go about it is... Now you see that little white thing moving right there, poking out? There are two demons, well batwing demons over here. Shoot the ground, and it'll lure them out. And from this point, it's easy. All you gotta do is hit them, and they come running. Make sure you get them both, though. And they will gradually... They will gradually run off the edge, like that. I don't think they'll both do that, but... This is kind of easy. You can sit here, and you can get this guy with arrows. Or you can just run up and attack him. They will do that while you're running at them, though. So be careful. Alright. Now we are reaching the most hated part of the entire game. The Twin Archers of An Orlando. These are Silver Knights with Dragon Slayer Great Bows. The best way to deal with this is, uh... There's actually a couple different ways you can do it. Let's just see what happens first. They fire these big arrows that do this. Look at the knockback on these arrows. It's kind of ridiculous. And we have to run up that bridge. And then we have to run along the wall that they're sitting on. So this is kind of a lose-lose situation. But there is a way to prevail. Some people like to sit here with a bow and fire poison arrows at them and gradually let them die. Now, I don't do that, because that takes a long time, it requires that you get dangerously close, which means you could fall off, and I don't have the computer power to support a video file of that size. It'll drive me nuts while it's processing. So this is how I deal with the Silver Knights. Dodge the arrows, best I can. Run up, and here's the trick. If you get... God, of course I got invaded. If you get close, they put their their bow away, and then you parry them. Now, I really don't want to miss the item over there, so I'm gonna run over there and get rid of this silver knight, get the item. This is a really stupid idea, and I'm sure this guy is gonna run over and kill me over here while I'm on the edge. But, uh, yeah, this is a terrible idea. There he is. Oh, God. Okay, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. I'm on a horribly terrible time limit right now. I have to get away from this guy. Before it's too late. Damn it. Of course he gets me. Okay, run away. <laughs> Stupid. Whee! Alright, that's it. Fight me where I've got room. No, don't use a soul item. <sighs> Are you... Whoa! How did that happen? Okay. I am kind of baffled. I don't know how I got yanked into his backstab. Well, back of the head stab, whatever you want to call that. But, regardless, we have to go do it again. Which isn't a terrible light. It's not bad. I mean, 
you guys get to see me do it in action again, but just for the sake of that not happening again, I'm not becoming human on the way to my souls. That would just be stupid. This is the issue with this game. It's like, you run over, and it's like, okay, let's have ourselves a fight. Like, nope, I'm gonna use, I'm going to equip the Hornet Ring, which gives me 30% extra damage with a critical hit, and just try my damnedest to get a backstab on you. That's, that is PvP in a nutshell in this game. PvP, like, people just, all they care about is criticals. Backstab, backstab, backstab. Well, you know what? Fuck you and your backstab. I just want to run back and get my souls to reach the bonfire. <sighs> this video is going to be unnecessarily long now just because of that prick. Get over here. So I can take you down. Oh, come on. Get down here. your turn. Man, I am not able to hit him with this thing. That's better. Look at that. I love being able to actually hit them. Now you see, the Magic Halberd has proven to be quite a good weapon thus far, but there are some cases where it just isn't very reliable. This guy, make him fall. This guy in the face, because we can. Woo! I see you too, man. I see you too. Can you drop anything? Okay. What are you gonna do? You're not gonna do anything. That's what I thought. Alright. Now we have to go past these parts. Oh crap, I forgot about these guys. Dang it. Ah. Oh jeez. This is bad. No! Oh, I totally just lost all those souls in that humanity. Okay. Round three. Round three. Let's try to be a tad bit more careful this time. Oh man, that was bogus. Damn it. I'm trying to con I'm trying to control the size of these videos, and it is working against me. I should be halfway through the, the fucking level by now, but all of these setbacks are stopping me from doing it. At this point, I'm probably going to have to stop the video by the time I reach the first bonfire inside of Anne Orlando, the actual building. Which is not good. So 
let's try to actually get through successfully this time. Now, this wouldn't be happening right now if it weren't for the damn lag stabber. But what can you do, right? Invade me with Mask of the Father, Giant's Armor, Silver Knight Shield, and a freaking club with charcoal pine resin on it, and a hornet ring. Boy, you sure are tough. I bet everybody's afraid of you and Dark Souls. Stop blocking me! Use your shield, that's it. See what happens? See what happens? When I'm in a hurry, you don't fuck with me. Ah, uh, that second attack is so hard to roll. It's nearly impossible from what I've concluded. Die. I'm really not gonna drop anything, seriously? I usually get shields and spears off of these guys like they grow on trees. Well, the halberd. Alright, round three. Mm. I could use the Great Lord Sword Dance, but. Die. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Hey, you are a piece of shit. That's what you get. That's what you get. Oh, man. Come on, come on. I don't have time for this. I'm running up. No, come on. You're supposed to go up the edge. Thank you. You. You're mine. Oh. No, what? Come on. Come on. Get out of the way. All right. Waste two heals. Now to get these blasted silver knights out of the way. Again. Man. A lot of the wrong stuff happened for the wrong reasons. Why we're having to get a setback. No, come on, put your bow away. Fight me like a man. Put your bow away. Come on. Oh god, no! Ah, descending attack of death. <sighs> okay. This is getting a bit ridiculous. I apologize for my poor playing. And I'm uploading... I'm uploading two videos at the same time while I'm playing, so... I'm sure the, the reason for that... The reason for that disgusting backstab earlier was probably on my end, not his. And my internet connection is... Severely lacking right now because of my upload let's, let's try something else let's do a little bit of this and 
pretty sure these bat wing demons are weakest to fire. So let's be their bane. It's not like I have anything to lose at this point. I wonder if these guys can follow me that far. Mm, this doorway looks pretty big. <laughs> I think they can. Okay, fine. I'll fight you in here. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Is that what you're gonna do? Well, that ain't gonna cut it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ooh, I almost. Boom. Boom. What are you gonna do, bud? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> I like bullying sentinels. And you know what? I can't betray my own playstyle. I don't like leaving things alive. Ooh. See, I can get around your shield. And thus you retreat. Oh, I missed. Oh, crap. Boom. And you still refuse to drop anything for me. I don't have any humanity, so my item discovery is like a hundred. It's the bare it's the bare minimum. So there's nothing I can do. Get out of here. Get up here. I attack first. Ha! That still didn't work. That is so dumb. Get out of here. Here we go again. Same shit. Ah. Come on. Got you. Now you. Damn it, you've got to be kidding me. This game hates me so much. Can I not get him seriously? There we go. Run off the edge. Run off the edge. Not making this very easy. <sighs> I'm going to regret doing this, but okay. that's the way it has to be. Start for the win. Oh, wow, that actually went well. <laughs> Shocker. All right, here we go again. Damn it. I hate the fact that Epic Name Bro is always right. Always right. Poison arrows are the best way to deal with these guys. 
Come on. Get out of here. Give me that. And you were contributing to my failure, so I won't spare you either. Stop throwing me off with your stupid shield bash. Alright, we got a Dragon Slayer arrow. A completely useless item. Yay us. So now, we can finally get to the bonfire. And we should be good. Okay. Here's Solaire. We have finally reached the first bonfire, and we have found our delightful sun bro. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Alright, his dialogue gets a bit strange here, so just bear with it. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo. Alright, let's light this bonfire and call it a day. That was bullshit back there, but... Who's keeping track, right? Alright. Uh, this is Let's Play Dark Souls HD signing out. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and sticking with my channel. Love you guys.